having lost my mom and, and, and meeting all these other women who've talked about making the choice to, to go in and get tested and then finding out, some of them finding out that they are, that they were in fact already carrying cancer and that they would make the decision, and, but that they um, got tested in time and will be with their children, like my mom wasn't able to be with me, um, means the world to me means the world to me. And to have this connection to, to other people, I, you know, we, we, I connect a, a, on levels of art and things that are often very silly and to connect with people on something that is so important about something that makes us all very, very human and connects us all and uh, the real issues we have to deal with in life and, and to be honest about them and talk about them and um, just uh, makes me feel more connected to all people and very, very grateful that I had the opportunity to be able to make the choice I did and, and uh and very happy that other women um, have uh, know that they have that choice. And for the ones that have made it, I send them my love, and I'm with them, and, and I feel very connected to them. The, the issue on that right now is we need to not turn the Boko Haram into superstars that get more attention for doing something so horrible. We need to go after them and arrest them at some point, and they need to face justice because at the end of the day, the bigger picture um, is we have to – is that this kind of horror happens around the world – and uh, women are, are facing this kind of use. So are men and boys. Um, and, and the answer cannot be simply w one situation and that, and that will solve it. So we have to understand that this is a, 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 um, a center point for a much bigger crisis going on. It's not one crisis at a time. I would beg the media to, to not, um, um, for all of us, to not treat things one at a time. Unbroken's going well. It's a, it's a big big movie that we've all worked really hard on. I think um, I'm so proud of, of the actors. I'm so, I think the Roger Deakins did such an extraordinary job. It looks beautiful. It's, uh, it's big, so we're just trying to, trying to kind of wrestle it into the best version of itself, but I'm very, very excited. Two years that you have heard my voice. I'm now interned in a Tokyo prisoner of war camp, and I'm being treated as well as can be expected under wartime conditions.